You spend hours and days trying to think about what you're going to write and these ideas just floating around in your head, all the things that you wanted to talk about, but then you post it, tapping your finger, waiting for a response, and now what? It's really hard to do this on every single piece that you write. So you're hoping that maybe having a social media manager would help you to take care of all of this and help you to grow your audience and therefore getting your paying clients. If you are feeling lost in the sea of posting and on social media, wondering what to post, what to write, and many coaches I know, they don't have a social media managing problem. What they have is a content strategy problem. Today, we're going to tackle this big question that a lot of coaches that I meet on a regular basis on how do I manage my social media. If you're new to me, I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach. I'm a certified content and email marketing strategist and I'm passionate about helping female coaches to simplify their marketing so that they can get seen, get heard and get clients. On this channel, you're going to find a lot of information on marketing, business tips that will help your coaching business to turn your passion for coaching into a profitable business. So today we're talking about the three reasons why you should have a content strategy. And this came up because I asked my community members, if you were to outsource something from your business right now, what would it be? And it was not a surprise, social media management. And I can totally understand where that coming from because content creation is very tedious and being on multiple channels at all time. And this is what people tell you to do, right? If you want to create an online business and you want to be present on social media, then you have to be on all these channels. And so that creates a lot of overwhelming feelings because not only do you have to be on LinkedIn, you have to create a post for Instagram, you have to do more real and you have to create your blog. So when you are being pulled in all these different directions, it's natural for us to wanting to have a solution that would help you to alleviate a lot of these stress and overwhelm. But if you think about where you are in your journey, having a social media manager is probably not the first solution that you should be looking for. Why? Because most of the social media manager, their responsibility is to help you to manage and posting and scheduling these contents that you have created so that you can be on multiple channel. So if I were to work with a social media manager, I'm going to be still the primary person to create all these content. And that person's responsibility would be to help me to take care of these repeatable tasks. And when you're early on in your journey, you may not realize that these are some of the repeatable tasks that you can delegate to someone else. And the repeatable task is not your content creation, my friend. Your repeatable tasks are things like, when do you schedule these posts? When you have a comment, how do you get them? And how do you reply to them? And do you constantly go on there to reply to them and engaging your followers? Now, if you're new to just social media marketing in general, chances are you don't have a lot of followers. You don't have a lot of comments and you're probably on just one or two channel at the moment. And so you really don't need to spend that much money and investment to hire and work with a social media manager. What you do need is to actually to master your content strategy so that in the future, when you are able to delegate these tasks, then you can delegate these tasks to that particular person. And this makes you becoming the CEO of your business. Now, if you don't know something well enough, then you delegate it to someone who might know a little more than you do, then that becomes a problem. You don't know what you don't know until something goes wrong and then you're going to be the person who has to fix it. So my advice to you is if you're early to the game and you have no idea what social media marketing is, I will highly encourage you to start learning about content planning and content strategy. Now, today I'm going to share three reasons why you should have a content strategy and how do you go about making it happen. So the three reasons why you need to have a content strategy is number one, Instead of having a scattered approach, now you can have a structure and strategic focus. 
Now, you may be someone who's new to the game. So when you create content, chances are you're all over the place and you have nothing to anchor your ideas and your thoughts and your content creation on. What if there's a way that you can create posts that's more purposeful and there's actually a reason and intention behind it? Now, how do you go about doing that? I'm going to share a link down below. It's a social media content planner inside that planner. There's a calendar that I have put together for you so that you have some idea of what do I post about for this particular day. And it's a monthly calendar on a monthly overview so that you can have more purpose and intention behind what is it that you're going to post today. So for example, creating a brand awareness, it means that you're going to go on there and post something about what is it about your business? What is your why? And how did you come about? What is your business origin story that people need to know about? Tuesday would be something like you're promoting your business. Maybe you want to invite your audience to a discovery call, and maybe you have a digital course. Maybe you have a membership that you would like to offer, or perhaps you have a free uh, workshop that you would like to invite your audience to come. And so I gave you a direction in terms of which day to post and so that you can stay more focused and narrow down what you want to post so that it becomes more strategic. The second reason why you want to have a content strategy is because a lot of your followers followers may not have ever heard about you in the first place. So if you're creating a post that requires their engagement, then all you're going to hear are just crickets because they're not ready to buy from you yet. And so you got to start walking your audience on that journey, on that path to get to know you better so that you can form that no like, and trust factor with your audience. How you do that is by creating posts that will provide some education to the people who don't know about you, or perhaps you're sharing some tips of how you overcome an obstacle or opportunity. And you can also sharing some inspirational stories about yourself, or maybe it's your clients. So you have a mixture of different types of content that you walk your audience from a journey of getting to know you liking you and therefore they actually form that trust through the contents that you're creating. If you need to have the framework on exactly how to map out that client's journey in your post, then go ahead and grab the social media content planner because in that content planner, I also included a content framework to help you map out exactly what do you write inside that post. Reason number three, why you need to have a content strategies is because most coaches are great in providing value, but one thing they always forget is the call to action. It may be a great and inspiring post that you have written and you have created, but if there's no clear call to action within your content, then it's like walking out from an amazing uh, talk and all you feel is inspired, that you feel motivated, but then that motivation will drop and nothing will happen. And that is the last thing that you want to happen for your audience, where they walk out of the amazing conference and talk, feeling inspired and motivated by reading your post, but then you never told them what their next step would be. And so in your content strategy, you always want to include a call to action and that may be booking a call with me or signing up to my newsletter or tell me one thing that you're going to do differently today in the comment. And so you always want to have a mixture of different type of call to actions to engage your audience so that you're not just leaving them with a big inspiration, but nothing else that happens to it. So before you go out and hire a social media manager, what I want you to do is to sit down and actually think about if you have incorporated your content strategy so that you know exactly the reason why you're, do, you're doing the posting. Most coaches I know, they go about and start posting on social media with absolutely no clue of what this post is going to do for them. And when you do that, things will become scattered and you never got a chance to actually build the audience on one social media channel. And therefore, when you start stretching out to multiple channels, things can get really ugly very fast and it becomes very overwhelming. And hiring your social media manager is not the answer. Before you waste any money on social media manager, learn how to manage your own social media channel and do it well before you actually think about delegating the task to someone else. And remember, every post is part of your story. 
every piece of the puzzle in your coaching business. No one can understand your audience better than you, and no one can speak your voice better than you. You got to start creating these posts with intention, with purpose, and knowing that every piece that you put out there, it's a key for your dream client to come to the door and work with you. So before you even think about outsourcing your social media, I want you to start being more intentional about what you're posting. Because your post supposed to be the driving force behind how your dream client is finding you, how they connect with you. And if you can't even manage that, then hiring your social media manager is not the answer. Thank you for joining me today. If you're ready to transform your content approach and learn more about how to make marketing the easiest part of your coaching business, be sure to hit the subscribe button and comment down below what is the one thing that you're going to do differently in your business this week. Until next time, keep shining, keep coaching.